Are you ready for change? Are you tired of living in the same cycle, the same stuff, dealing with the same issues constantly? Look, it's no coincidence you just clicked this video. I know for a fact that God is about to speak to you and move powerfully through this video. And look, I know only around 10% or less will actually watch this video to the very end and find out the three secrets, these three major keys when it comes to your life being transformed forever. And trust me, you guys, you're not ready for the last one. The last one is going to shock you. I promise you, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So whatever you do, do not click off this video, guys, okay? With all that being said, let's get straight into this one. Look, average people do average things. I don't know about you. I'm not trying to be an average person, another person out of 8 billion people to just do the, the, the motions of life and just live in the matrix of reality. I'm here to bring something to the table. I don't know about you, friend. I'm here to bring transformation and change the world. I'm here to serve God and prepare his army and prepare for his return. If that's you, let's go. And I'm about to share with you these three elements, these secrets that most people are not talking about that will, I'm telling you, change your life forever in every way. But before I do that, friend, not too long ago, I launched my Patreon where I will teach you guys everything you need to know when it comes to going viral for Jesus. You get godly community, godly friends. You get to join the Discord as well as we're doing Zoom calls once a week and even more at times, and you'll get the opportunity to connect with me further and ask me whatever you want. So if you are curious about that and you wanna learn how to grow deeper in, in your walk with God and you're serious about your faith, man, join the Patreon. I've left that in the link in the description of this video. It's around $7 a month. That's basically the equivalent of you buying me a coffee once a month. I've made it as cheap as possible. With all that being said, let's get into number one. Be persistent. Ooh, this one is a huge one, guys. Look, I used to be somebody who would ask God. I would, you know, try something a few times. I would go to God about something a few times. But when I saw something not going my way, I saw something not working out the way I wanted it to, I would just give up right away. And that's the opposite of what God wants you to do. God is constantly testing you. He is constantly trying you to see if you will continue to be persistent. This is a huge element when it comes to getting what you need for, from the Lord, okay? So look, you got to be persistent. Never give up until you acquire that thing that you know God is calling you to do. Never give up. Never give up. This is what the Bible says here. Check this out. The word of God, man. This, this blows my mind every time I read this. Luke chapter 11, verse 5 through 8. And he said to them, talking about Jesus, which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine has come to me on his journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, do not trouble me. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give to you. And I say to you, though he will not rise and give to him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. God is the person inside of the house. We are the people who are knocking at midnight, right? And just because, this is what the Bible says, just because we are God's friend does not mean that he's going to give us everything we want when we ask. But if we keep knocking, if we keep bothering and, and slit, hitting that door and keep being persistent, no matter what, God will end up granting what we need. He will give to us what we ask if we continue to ask persistently. This is a major element when it comes to transformation and change in your life. I promise you change will not come unless you are persistent. You don't give up. You keep praying. You keep asking. You keep going to God. Even when, seem, even when things seem like they're going south, keep running north, man. Keep going. Never stop. 
You cannot give up. I promise you, if you do this, you will see change in your life soon. Number two, you ready for this? Work in faith. Now, the reason why I say work in faith together is because they don't, they don't go apart, okay? Faith is not you sitting around and waiting for God to grant your wishes. Faith is not you sitting around and waiting for God to act, waiting for God to move. Faith is you working towards what God has shown you could be possible, right? It's not just you believing, but it's you believing, but acting towards that belief. Faith is you is you doing something that you wouldn't normally do and you really can't go back, right? You do something and it's so risky, you have to basic, basically hope that God will make it work, okay? You have to have full faith. Basically, like, if you're jumping off a cliff, this is like real faith. It's you jumping off the cliff, stepping out in faith, and either God's going to catch you or you're going to die, okay? That's what I'm saying when I say faith. So faith is not you waiting for wind to hit your sail and then you to go. It's you raising the sail and then waiting for the wind to come, right? So you still have to raise the sail and then have faith and believe that God is going to send wind your way. Now here's the work side of it. Check this out, man. This 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 is about to blow your mind. It says right here in Proverbs chapter six, verse six. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. So basically, what the Bible is saying here is, <laughs> go to the ant for wisdom. Go to the ant if you're a sluggard, which means you're a lazy person, right? You're a lazy person. Watch how the ants work, okay? And consider how they work and copy ants. So the Bible is literally saying here, watch the ants and copy what the ants do. Now, what do ants do? I don't know if a lot of you guys have had an experience with ants, you know, ants getting in your house, ants in your yard, seeing what ants do, ants hole, ant holes and all that type stuff. But basically what ants do is, first of all, they are unified, right? All together, one accord, one army, um, full, they, they got the soldier ants, the worker ants, and the queen ants, the, the queen ant, right? So what the ants do is they go out, they find food, and they bring it back to their home, right? And they continue to work hard. They persevere no matter what season. They make a way, okay? They're always making a way, always moving. They're hardworking. They, the, it's a proven fact that they are basically the strongest bug according to its size than any other bug inside the entire world. They can lift like, I think, three times the, their size or something like that. It's ridiculous. But what they do is they're constantly working. And when they're being attacked, they get together as one accord and they fight. They fight, they're willing to risk their lives and do whatever it takes to bring that food, to bring that stuff back to the nest. So work like an ant. <laughs> and then let's talk about the faith side of things, right? Because you got to work towards that thing you're believing for and believing in. Now here's the believing part. It says right here inside of Mark chapter 11, verse 23. This is Jesus talking. For surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. It actually, it says in the next verse, therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So basically what Jesus is saying here is that not just you know, believing in your mind, not just telling yourself you believe, but actually believing without a doubt in your heart, having faith, right? You have literal power to move mountains, okay? You have power to do insane, impossible things. So let me just put it this way. If you apply the working step, you work towards something you're believing in, right? As long as it doesn't go against God, right? You work towards something you believe in, and you believe with everything in you that that thing's gonna happen without a doubt in your heart, I promise you right now, it will happen. Oh, it will happen. If you believe without a doubt that you're gonna start a church, right? And then you take steps to work towards that goal, oh, I promise you, it will happen. 100%. The Bible guarantees it. If you believe without a doubt in your heart, it will happen, okay? This is a major key element when it comes to transformation and change in your life. When it comes to you taking that step to become something more than average, doing God's work and doing His will, okay? So work 
towards what you believe in and then believe without a doubt that it will happen. When you pray to God, believe without a doubt and it will happen for you. I'm telling you, this is real. There is power in faith. All right, guys, we're on number three. The, the number, the part, the segment that you guys have all been waiting for here, okay? And I promise you, if you apply this to your life, oh, I guarantee you, change will come and change will come fast, okay? Breakthrough will come. That dam that's been blocking your life, that dam will be broken by that river of life if you do this. I'm telling you, right now, this is the secret. This is the greatest thing I could ever tell you about this, okay? If you're trying to overcome lust, you're trying to overcome any addiction in your life, or just have change and transformation, this is it. All right, number three, covenant with God or covenant prayer. Watch, okay? We see all throughout the Bible, Jesus, right? His disciples, Daniel, all these people inside of the Bible were in these places and times that they would take to fast and pray and seek. God. And after their fasting, breakthrough would come about, okay? For example, Jesus went into the wilderness for a time limit, 40 days. 40 days just praying and fasting. The devil hated it, right? The devil hated it, so he attacked him. But Jesus was praying and fasting during that time period before his ministry was started. And he did that on purpose to prepare for what was to come in his life. I'm telling you right now, I've seen the fruit of this. People getting into covenant prayers and covenant fast for God, that is when breakthrough starts to come. And when I say covenant, I'm saying do something like this. Make a time limit, like maybe either maybe once a week, maybe every single day, where you know for a fact you're going to show up in the secret place with God. You're going to Pray to God. Maybe that's one hour, maybe that's 30 minutes, and you're going to pray to God and fast during this time period. Maybe that's fasting two days a week, maybe that's fasting one. Whatever you got to do, be spirit led, make a covenant with God, and don't break it. Pray. Maybe that's 30 days, maybe that's 20 days for you, maybe that's 10 days for you, maybe that's seven days for you. But go into a place in your life where you are starting to apply covenant prayer with God. Whereas you make sure to get in the secret place, pray to God fast for certain time periods every single day or whenever you're going to do it at a certain time. Why? This expresses loyalty to the Lord. And what the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9 says this, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. And this you have done foolishly, therefore, from now on, you shall have wars. So God, his eyes run to and fro throughout the earth looking for people who are loyal to him, right? And what is the, the best way you can express loyalty to God and get his attention is by covenant prayer. I'm telling you right now, commitment, committing yourself to certain time periods in the day, in your week where you know you're going to show up, you're going to be committed, you're going to pray, you're going to fast. I'm telling you, this is the answer you are looking for in your life. Be in a covenant with the Lord if possible. I'm telling you, this will change your life. Tired of being average? This is the answer right here, my friend. This is the beginning of something major. All right, guys, man, if you have stuck out to this time period all the way to the end of this video, that is awesome. God bless you guys. Thanks you so much for um, sticking this thing through. That's probably going to wrap up today's video. But again, if you're serious about your faith, you are interested in doing the work of God. You want to go viral for Jesus. You don't know where to start, though. You want godly friends and family that are going to push you in your walk with God. You want to get to know me personally, go live on Zoom with me, go live on YouTube with me at times. Then, dude, what are you waiting for? Join the Patreon. Again, the prices are going to go up probably pretty soon here. So get in while it's cheap. Get in while you still can right now. But yeah, guys, it, again, if you want to support the ministry, like this video, um, subscribe. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments about this one. Share this to your friends so they can see this as well. Go check out my merch store. I'll leave that in the link in the description. And also, if you just want access to the Discord, you can become a member of this channel and get exclusive badges and 
emojis and all that type of stuff. But yeah, that being said, hey, thank you guys so much for watching this one. God bless you guys. I love you very much. Thank you.